Hello, I am Olivier Gamet, Total Representative, working for bitumen supply. This video summarizes the complex bitumen manufacturing process. We will explore what's bitumen for, refinery units to produce it, and bitumen downstream logistic. Bitumen is very different from other products coming from crude oil. It's not a heating or driving fuel, designed to be useful less than one second, it's the only one being a construction product that is designed to last over 10 years. Bitumen is a natural glue. To be efficient, it needs to fulfill several adequate ratios between different chemical families of heavy molecules. The most important ratio is a limited range between the asphaltens that are the glue-prone molecules and the aromatics that disperse asphaltens, aromatics being in majority. Due to the limited ratio between chemical molecules, bitumen can only come from some selected crudes. A rule of the sum is that only high sulfur crudes can be used for bitumen. The main reason is that sulfur is highly present in the asphaltens and low sulfur crudes contain very few asphaltens, so it's few sticky. Because bitumen is made of heavy molecules boiling over 500 Celsius degrees, it's difficult to select, needing a deep fractionation in several stages, minimum atmospheric and vacuum distillation. All bitumen is produced in a vacuum distillation unit, but some retreated after in three other units. Crude oil is desalted and heated over 370 Celsius degrees. Side production are propane, butane, driving fuel like gasoline, kerosene or diesel. It's important to note that crude selected to produce bitumen put constraint on commercial driving fuels. Sulfur constraint give a strong economical penalty to produce bitumen. Atmospheric column bottom is reheated around 400 Celsius degrees to enter a vacuum column that is a liquid gas separation. We use a vacuum tower with low or very low pressure because hydrocarbons began cooking over 400 Celsius degrees whatever the pressure is, but combining a 400 Celsius degrees with a low or very low pressure gives, without cooking, an equivalent of 550 Celsius degrees atmospheric distillation. Vacuum bottom can be a soft or a hard bitumen, depending on the crude, VTU temperature, VTU vacuum, and other parameters. Let comes to the three other possible additional units used to produce bitumen. If vacuum bottom is a soft bitumen, it can be desasphalted, removing oil in a liquid-liquid extraction at low temperature but high pressure, with help of propane or butane to produce desasphalted pitch that is hard bitumen because of high asphaltene content. If vacuum bottom is a soft or intermediate bitumen, it can be blown by air in a blowing tower to reticulate molecules with the help of oxygen, building asphaltene like molecules. Note that by blowing, hardening effect is quicker on rick and ball than on penetration, PI index increase. In the special case of feeding a very soft base, oxidized bitumen for roofing can be obtained, but cannot be used for road application. Marginal bitumen quantities can come from a vis breaking unit that breaks a percentage of vacuum residue into lighter molecules, and so reduce vacuum residue quantities. Please note that bitumen classification will be explained later in this MOOC. Keep only in mind that smaller is a number, harder is a bitumen. After getting soft and hard bitumen, there are two logistical possibilities. First, produce finished bitumen by inline blending. This saves tanks and money, but is more touchy because blended quality can only be measured three hours later. Second, minimum one tank per quality and analyzed before loading. Less risk, but more costly and less flexible. Another fundamental point. Bitumen is a very viscous product. Optimal pumpability is good when the viscosity is not higher than 0.2 pascal point second. Storage temperature has to be in range from 140 Celsius degrees soft bitumen to 200 uh, hard bitumen. Keep in mind too that bitumen can no longer be pumped around 2 pascal point seconds and there is only 40 degrees margin between 0.2 and 
and 2 pascal point second, while a standard truck loses 10 to 15 degrees each 24 hours, meaning that you have to hurry to deliver to customers. Remember bitumen cake points. It's a construction product. It's a glue of heavy molecules from selected high sulfur crudes. Bitumen K production unit is vacuum distillation unit. Additional units can be blown units, desasphalting units and vis breaking. Bitumen has to be stored at high temperature, allowing them to be under 0.2 pascal per second. Thank you for your attention.